Yeah. Because there's okay. nothing there. Like so right? yeah. technically Wales, but also just Northwest. Definitely. Athens. We are seeing the expected Greninja Pally matchup. Mm -hmm. um, we are a small battlefield, so we're not seeing that PS2. Ooh, Very cool. similar. Okay. Um, I think this is going to be a game of strong neutral. I, I definitely feel like that. It's going to be a definitely a British game, and like whoever gets like that one initial hit can bring it over into insane damage on this. Um, I mean, like, um, mess with your opponent, right? Just throw that off the out. Yeah. Um, I'll give the benefit of the doubt. It was a mix up. I, 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 yeah, it, it was an option. Yeah, that's definitely. what it was. That's what it definitely was. Definitely. I feel like oh, that was mixed up. One of the places where Pally doesn't necessarily have like a one thing in her kit that is strong at this, but I think ledge trapping as Pally is such a key thing to be able to do. Uh -huh. um, I think we're gonna see um, uh, Reyna sort of get a lot of damage from that. Um, yeah, you're absolutely right. Whereas Greninja has some good options, but quite strong at the ledge specifically. Much more neutral based, has a really good advantage state, some very good um, confirms into good kill moves. Mm -hmm. um, like we say, very fundamentally strong characters. Yeah, um, and within the blink of an eye, within like, oh my god, not like a barely a minute, but still, both of them are sitting at really easy sense, showing how even this game is. Could go either way. We'll to see how this opening and that all there to take the stock. Really strong for Arena. Yeah, I mean, like, she, you know, she went for that um, dash attack, didn't quite get a kill, didn't phase her. What did I say? What did I say? Both characters have exploitable yeah. dash attacks, and they are aware of that. Absolutely. At this level. And it's such a good sign this early on, you know, both players are, off, like, you know, neck and neck already. Mm -hmm. Even with a 40% lead for Reyna, um, Piplup just needs, like, one opening, right? Um, I know it always sounds like cliche, but it's, like, one opening and, and it's an even game. One opening and the washing machine gets turned on. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, but that being said, you know, uh, Reyna holding strong. She's doing really well so far. 83% on Piplup. It's down tilt, nice. Really nice, not finding that down air. It, that's, that spike would be huge for if it did connect. The ledge, uh, the ledge cancel. cancels. Oh my god. Um, this was just a charge up smash. If that came out at the same time, I feel yeah. like that might have killed. I mean, even even, even though the uh, people get up attack that, Marissa's still in the band. Marissa's still got people in the corner. What is he gonna do? He's still getting sent in the corner and he had to head out there really well. Of course, as soon as I say it's an even game, we're seeing Reyna just absolutely run away with the stock. 138%. Like, you know, and you know when a Palo is feeling herself because they go for those ledge camps yeah. to be upbeat. The ledge camps don't really matter, but they're so cool yeah. anyway. Absolutely, absolutely. And like, you know, like holding such a strong neutral so far, like she, she knows here that she doesn't need to push it. Mm -hmm. She just needs to find that open, goes for the back air, back airs again as Pitlock mm -hmm. jumps to catch that. Okay. Gets back, doesn't quite get back for free. That's part of the ledge trap we're seeing from like such a strong um, area for Palutena. Yeah. Just that's yeah, like, amazing. Really such a good burst option. Very punishable if you don't get the hit. Yeah. But if you do get the hit, you're gonna kill her. Kill her. Absolutely. Bit. Okay. Now, Pebble is gonna need to have a miracle right now, but this is not quite a miracle in the ledge trap. And you're, if you're playing Kent's of Goddess, you're not. You're gonna need to turn to a different god. That being said, three uppers in a row won't hurt. <laughs> Definitely, you're right. I feel like but not yeah. gonna take the stock. That's um, what you need. Rain is playing so well around the sort of Greninja classics. Mm -hmm. You know the Greninja wants dash attack, you know they wants down tilt. Yeah. Um, or even grab. Or even there to combo. Yeah. Um, Ooh, it's really nice. Double 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 nice. Double. And just to recover for free. Gets the down tilt into forward air and that does kill. Mm -hmm. Such good awareness to be able to go for that forward air in a scenario like yeah. that. And that is exactly what I mentioned. People wanted this. People needed this. Yeah. I feel That's like what happens. After that second stop with Reyna sort of, you know, she was in control, 140% up. And all of a sudden, it's only 70% 70% difference. Absolutely. You know? yeah. And when you're looking at a character like Reninja, you just need, like, that dash attack, or that nair, or that down tilt. Mm -hmm. And although Reyna has done an amazing job of stopping that from happening, all it takes is one, and all of a sudden, she's at 49%. So 20% difference between them. Like out of nowhere, uh, seemingly. It's, it's, one thing I like to mention is people's spacing is kind of being on point really well. Uh, he's finding his like loose the air in certain situations. Oh my God. On the platform as well, making it even more deadly. That's disgusting. Man, such good play from Pip Love. Even being down for that whole game, even at the end there was down on percent. Mm -hmm. But like I say, Maris, um, Reyna doing such a good job of playing around those 
um, Greninja options, but lets him in a few times, dies for it at, at like 80% on the platform. Yeah. It's just such good, like, yeah, such good fundamentals from both these players, but also such good patience from Pitbluff to not get frustrated. You know, you're not getting those hits you want, but sort of playing it cool, mm -hmm. playing calm, still getting those hits, and when you need them, you get them, and you get the stock yeah. for it. Cool and calm, and embodying the character that is the ninja in your playstyle. You love to see that. Now, after losing the game, I feel like uh, sorry, uh, Retired Rain is not going to be that happy with it. He's going to only want to get that opening, and like I said, keeping 27% off the bat, that's not terrible. No conversion off that down there, it's a bit unfortunate. Yeah. I feel like after such a dominant second stock as well, Rain's probably feeling, you know, quite confident after that, and to have that shut down immediately, all that momentum just shifts immediately into mm. Pitbot's favour. Um, that being said, we're seeing a similar opportunity here for Rainer. Wants to get those ledge traps, looking for a back end, but has such good patience yeah. to just like wait. It's like, okay, I'm not going to get it here, I'll mm. get it later on, it's no big deal. Um, One thing yeah. I love about the top players is being aware to mix up their tempo and like mix up their patience. Definitely. Kind of be smart to get that. Yeah, yeah. knowing like when to earlier. not use a move I feel like is such an important thing. Yeah, but like I mentioned earlier, uh, Lorena was charging the up smash. Even though she got a uh, get up attack, it's not the end of the uh, world for her. Like, she has to force the opponent now. But out of position, just set back to neutral. Definitely. I think okay. that might kill. Such a good back air. We did kill. see that earlier. It's one of Palatina's like bread and butters. Really, yeah. <laughs> is like go to ledge and back throw. Um, but it's consistent and it works. Yeah. And I feel like that's such an such an interesting thing because we saw Piplup off like holding the um, Rainer off stage for probably the first time this set, um, and still manages to lose the stock after that. Um, mm -hmm. so yeah. ledge. I really like that. Just a good um, attack out from right Yeah. Only like going for the uh, attack it up when it would be really hit. Because like if you risk it, like they are so negative on uh, our shield. Yeah, and, and when Pitbox's not ready for it, I think that's the important thing. Mm -hmm. It's like if you're ready for an attack out, you can die for that. So you're true. Um, or if not die, you're going to get grabbed or you're going to get hit. Mm -hmm. um, but not letting that happen. So, drag down, was that a combo? Drag down? Oh, yeah. into, no idea, that was actually really sick. I've seen some similar stuff with Joker, and of course, they have very similar up so potentially it could be true. Oh, great spacing on that forward. I think like, just, like, the slight micro spacing to get out of her burst range for a split second and get that back. Yeah, I, I feel like so far, like, Rain has done such a good job of playing around that sort of pit block burst range, or the Greninja burst range specifically. But, as we saw in the first game, all that Piplup needs is those couple of openings. Mm -hmm. And he's right back in it. And, you know, even now... Yeah. Okay, I ignore that whatever it, I was honestly, saying. Honestly, okay, I don't think Piplup's out of it just yet. No, no, this is a similar scenario we saw in that first game. Doesn't mean history's going to repeat itself, but yeah. it does mean that it's possible. Mm -hmm. And Piplup knows that, you know, he can have that confidence knowing that if he does play patient, gets those openings, he's got a chance. But also from the other side of that, Reyna had that lead in that first game. Let it slip. All that she needs to do is sort of hunker down. You know, she's got the lead now. It's, it's literally lapped in percent, or mm -hmm. not, not anymore. But we're at that kind of level. Ooh, I like the jump. Hold. Okay, catches with the back air. Still doesn't have a jump. Goes on stage, gets the back air. All of a sudden, it's a 60% difference. It's that, not that big. That off stage pressure was absolutely insane. You've yeah. got to respect Pipple for that one. You've got to respect Pipple for like, I'm taking that hit. Straight to the face. It's not quite great. Oh, lovely. Uh, I feel like we're having deja vu. This is exactly where we saw that first set, no. our first time um, game go to. And we did just see Pitbot get a couple of like huge openings that he yeah. needed. Um, Whenever I see a mistake and it's, it's uh, the ninja, I get so scared. Oh, yeah. It's insane. Uh, you know, you're looking at potential death. And it, yeah. Uh, what, what is happening? All of a sudden, it's an even game. It's the exact same as what happened last time. Even that down tilt into up smash doesn't kill, doesn't connect, but Pitbot's suddenly in control, out of nowhere, has really just figured it out. That's what it feels like, gets the up smash again. Similar again to the last game, just killing with up smash is absolutely brutal. Catching it on that platform again? Insane. It's such, like, like, such strong mental to see something like that happen, mm -hmm. where you're you're literally losing two games in a row. Um, like, that's, that, yeah. that second game was even more sort of controlled by mm -hmm. um, Reyna for most of the game. And even then, even after all of that, you see people up sort of turn it around and just get those three mm -hmm. openings, and all of a sudden you're dead to all that smash yeah. at uh, 100, it's 110. It's incredibly respectful, and I love seeing this uh, people do this constantly, proving that you're never really out of it. And I like that it's going for like, not risky reversals, but like the really safe and calculated ones, really calculating his risk reward, and never going like, 
too far out there. He's never going too far out for a kill. He's never overextending, and I love seeing that at this level. Definitely, definitely. I, I think we're at a point now where, like, okay, we're going to see the current. Okay, so um, Reyna obviously Ooh. not feeling confident with the Palutena. After those first two games, it feels like, you know, maybe from her perspective, even with the confidence of like sort of holding it down for those first two games, still losing. Yeah. Something's got to change, whether it's a different character or what. Mm -hmm. But we're seeing both a different character and a different stage. Yeah. Hammer City. This, this could be interesting. A decent stage for either side. I believe. I don't really know what Corrin wants. I'm not gonna lie to you. But I feel like Corrin could be fairly well uh, as an anti-aerial character to uh, a potential aerial playstyle of Pepper. Yeah, I feel like with, with Karin, you're seeing one of the best um, up airs in the game. Uh, I'm probably the best. It's, it's insane. Yeah, it's like one of those characters that is carried by a single move. And, oh no, that's, oh that's no. it. Forward for her kills off the side. She's not feeling it, ladies wow. and gentlemen. I believe this may be the end of the show for you us. Know, what we've seen in those first two games is like Reyna in control and still losing. What happens when Piplop's in control? <laughs> you know? Yeah, Piplop's that's... in control. And like, there's no potential for him to lose. Exactly. This is Piplop unleashed. Ultra instinct, baby. Piplop doesn't have to, like, Piplop can play now with the confidence that, like, oh, if I keep doing this, I'm going to win. Yeah. Whereas as Reyna is like, well, I've got to win. Not, I've not just got to bring this game back. I've got to win this game, and then I've got two more games on, like, Piplop's counter picks. There's so much more work for her to do. Exactly. I, I was going to start sort of talking about maybe this was a stage counter pick, yeah. not just, like, a character one, like, maybe Corrin's really good on town. And, you know, obviously it's a bit of a niche scenario to die to the platform like that, but it's still an opportunity. And we do see the pin killer. Interesting. It's, I, it's flipped, it feels like that. <laughs> yeah, like, it, it's gone back to the position that it was in the last few games, where it's a bit more even, alright? Reyna is kind of in the pivot scenario of like, the last few games, where it's kind of losing and getting that really surprised that I could put it back in the game. But then again, she's got so much more to do, she's got to be tired, and she's kind of letting go of these stocks. Absolutely, I feel like those up smashes have paid off so well for Pit Black. Like, he's missed maybe one mm -hmm. and he's hit the weak spot on one he's killed with three which yeah. is such a good return for investment and he's ended the game with like two of them yeah Usually. absolutely two of them were massive um, comebacks as well yeah um, I feel like when, if you're Marissa in this um, scenario you have to keep your mental in check mm -hmm. you know you've got to you've got to do the opposite of what you've been doing the last two games you've got to be like I can still do this I've just got to get those hits mm -hmm. and at the moment it's not happening like Pit Club is in control but okay. he rolls and that is very what true into the forward smash, unfortunately. Nice mix up on the uh Obby. Okay, and up yeah. smash, and that's gonna kill four for four, I think, on on yeah. like strong four hit um up smash kills. Nice. And the conversion button was really clean. Yeah. And like, yeah, I feel like even though, you know, Reyna was seeded ninth, mm -hmm. Pepla was seeded eighth. So everything's going like to plan, that just kinda of feels Almost like an upset in a sense. But even if it's not an upset, it's surprisingly dominant. Yeah. And I feel like, you 